Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. So if you didn't already know, Gwen Stefani has launched her own makeup line. It's called Give by Gwen Stefani. And today we are going to be trying it out. I feel like a lot of celebrities are getting into makeup these days. So let's find out if Give is actually good. Before we get into that though, I do just wanna mention that Give is clean, which means they don't use any harmful ingredients to us or the environment. I know, ugh, there was a big Netflix documentary, I forgot the name. Not so pretty? I don't know, that's a guess. I didn't watch it, but I know a lot of people are going crazy over it because I guess it just exposed how harmful the beauty industry actually can be. And another thing that I really like is that they're sustainable, their packaging is recyclable, and I believe a few of their products are refillable. Let's get started on the makeup though, because there's a lot of really cool products I want to show you guys. As of right now, they only have one face product. It's this all-time prime multi-use prep and smooth face oil. The rest of their makeup is mainly like lips and eyes. I feel like face oils are huge right now. I do like that this is multi use. You can either put it on before your foundation, you can mix it in with your foundation, or you can mix it in with your moisturizer just for a little bit more hydration. So I just have some foundation on my mixing palette. See how thick it is? It's just running very slow. I just feel like it's so much easier to use and also just looks more natural when it's not as thick, which is why I really like mixing this in. I just did one drop. You really don't want too much. And then we're just going to mix... The consistency is already so much nicer. My skin looks tragic today. I have some unwanted visitors here. Um, this side isn't too bad. This side is mainly blemishes, but there's a lot to cover on this side. So I'm just gonna go in with the product and my brush here. And what I like about the oil is that it's making my foundation thinner and like glowier, but I still have that full coverage. Like, look at that. So pretty. I love the way this oil feels on my skin. It's very hydrating, very lightweight, and it's also non-comedogenic. I break out so easily, so it's nice to see that. So I've tried mixing this oil with water-based foundation and oil-based, and honestly, both worked fine if you're worried about that. The one thing I will warn you against, though, is I used a oil-based primer, and then I went in with my foundation mixed in with the oil. That was a mistake. Don't do that. Okay, foundation is on. I think it looks really good. I think the oil even makes it look a little bit more skin-like, which is nice. Okay, I'm gonna finish my base and then I'll be back to do eyes. Okay, my base is done. I think it's looking gorgeous. So I have two of the Give quads to try out. These are the I See In Color quads in Just A Girl and Simple Kind Of Life. They're both neutrals. You know I love neutrals. Okay, this is Just A Girl. I like it because you have some mattes and then a couple of shimmers. Even though it's just four colors, you can create a lot of looks using this. And then this is Simple Kind Of Life. All mattes and all these like beautiful neutral shades. I think I'm gonna use both. I'm either gonna go for like a soft glam look, which nothing new there. Or like, you know, the classic Gwen Stefani eye look. Like I feel like anytime I picture Gwen Stefani, her makeup is like, she's got neutral shadow on a nice black wing and then like a red lip. I might, I might do that actually. I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer on my eyes before getting started. I always like to have something down on my eyes as a primer. Um, so I feel like I wouldn't be giving them a fair chance if I didn't. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with Just a Girl. This is the shade Destiny, and I'm gonna work that in my crease. I'm just picking that up with a crease brush. These shadows are super pigmented. You could see how light this transition shade was in the pan, and it's coming out very, very pigmented in my crease. I just picked up a little bit more of that color, and now I'm going to start dragging it kind of up and out. Like I always do, we wanna lift the face. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up the other quad and this shade here, and I'm just gonna kind of use that to darken up the crease, but nothing too crazy. These shadows are also super easy to blend, which I like. I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't want the crease to be too dark, and then I'm just gonna pick up that same color and run it along my lower lash line. Going back in with that first quad and then this dark shade here, I'm just using that same brush, and I'm gonna start kind of creating a wing shape here. And you also want to diffuse it as well. I'm not picking up any more product. I'm just taking that first brush and kind of blending. Like I said, these shadows are very blendable. So this little like wing shape we have is blending out really easy. 
Before I continue, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit with some powder and a flat brush, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take the lightest shade from the Simple Kind of Life quad and I'm gonna apply that to my lid. Okay, I like how that's looking. I don't wanna go crazy with the eyeshadow because we are gonna be going in with a liner. Okay, so these are the Line It Up 24 Hour Gel Pencil Eyeliner. That's a mouthful. I have the shade Bath Water. It's this beautiful electric like cobalt blue. And then Spider Webs, which is like an intense black. I'm gonna use this one for this eye look, obviously. But this blue is so pretty. Okay, let's do a little... Ooh, that is so nice. And then let me swatch the black, even though I'm gonna be using that on my eyes. They're very creamy, which I like. So they're supposed to be waterproof and last 24 hours. It's in the name. I'm gonna let these dry down and then we're gonna see how waterproof, smudge proof they are. So like I said, I kind of wanted to do like a diffused look. So I hope there's enough time for me to like smudge this around and play with it. I'm just gonna start with like a small little wing and then taking a detailed brush, I'm gonna start dragging that up. And then I'm kind of patting it in so that it'll like blend out and give me that diffused look I want. Okay, there's definitely enough time to like play around with it before it dries down, which I like. I'm just picking up this brush again and then the darkest shade in the quad. And I'm just gonna use that to blend out the shadow and the liner a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just gonna sharpen this a little bit so that I can like attempt to do my inner corner. Kind of dangerous, I never do my inner corner with like a pencil like this, but let's give it a try. I'm just lining my lash line a tiny bit and then I'm gonna drag that line down to my inner corner. Okay, that looks really good. It was actually pretty easy to do as well. Before I do mascara and lashes, let's see. Wait, like I've worn the black liner before and like it was good, it stayed on, I just, like this, this is actually insane. Like it's not budging. I do have to clean it off though so I can do more swatches. So I just put on some micellar water. Okay, the micellar water is kind of breaking it down. That was impressive. The eyes are looking incredible. Let's do brows. Okay, so I have two of the Give Brow products here. This is the Hello On Point Ultra Fine Eyebrow Pencil. And then this here is the Most Def Instant Definition Sculpting Brow Pencil. There are seven shades in each of these. I have the shade five deep warm brown, I think. Okay, it's warm deep brown. I was close. I have been using the Hello On Point all week. Look how thin this is. Can you guys see? Oh. I love it, it's so easy to create hair-like strokes. And then the most deaf has a bit of a thicker thip, thicker tip, <laughs> but again, super easy to use, very creamy. That's actually pretty sharp too. And both claim to be sweat proof and transfer proof, so we're gonna let that dry down and then do our little rubbing, see if that works again. In the meantime, let's fill in our brows. I'm gonna be using the Hella On Point pencil, and I do like that there's just like a little spoolie to brush out your brows on one side, very handy. As always, I'm drawing on a whole new brow tail and then also adding a few hair strokes at the front of my brow. Okay, I just did the like rubbing and I realized I didn't, I hadn't started filming, so that's great. To sum up, it's not as impressive as the eyeliner, but it's still kind of impressive. To be fair, no one's ever really rubbing their face like that, so. Okay, now it's time for lips. And when I tell you, I've got options. Okay, so I have four of the Original Me High Performance Matte Lipstick. These are the new shades. I have four of the Anaheim Shine High Performance Satin Lipsticks, and then, and then their new shade in the I'm Still Here Longwear Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. That's a mouthful. Okay, let's swatch the Original Me Matte Lipsticks first. Okay, first up we have the shade Lovable Me. Oh, that's so creamy. Oh, I love that. That feels really nice and velvety. The color is a nice nude as well, but I feel like I like a lighter nude. Let's see if this one's a little bit lighter. This is Tragic Me. Okay, yeah, I like that better. I might go with this one. So far, this is in the lead. Okay, this is Old School Me, which is such a nice, like beautiful, deep red. 
Oh, that is real. It's like a really nice berry red, you know? I'm kind of debating doing a red, but I have to go to work. I never really do anything crazy at work. <gasps> Look at this color. This is called 80s me. Oh, that is so fun. I'm obsessed with that. Please, my swatches are so terrible. Um, time for satins. <gasps> this is a nice red. This is called Rosewood Street. Again, a very like berry red, but it's a little bit brighter. I love that. Again, very creamy and velvety. Ooh, this looks like a really nice nude. This is called Screen My Phone Calls. <sighs> okay, yeah. Okay, that was the original nude I wanted. I think I like that better. If I don't go with this nude, I think I'm gonna do this 80s me. But I don't know if I have a lip liner to match. Okay, here's another kind of like nude color. This is called Stomp Box. I like that too, but I do like a lighter nude, so I think that's still my number one, although that's really pretty too. Okay, this color. So beautiful. It's like this orangey red. Oh my God, I love that. Screen My Phone Calls is probably the winner for me today. Oh wait, oh my God. Before I make a decision, let's swatch this liquid lipstick as well. So this is in the shade Fishnets. I can already tell it's gonna be such a beautiful, like berry red. Oh my God, yeah. That's really beautiful as well, but I think I have to stick with the nude. I just know if I go to work with a color like this, it's going to drive me insane. I'm just gonna let all of this dry on my arm and then we're gonna do the smudging again. Now I'm into it. Now I don't even know what's gonna happen, but it's like my new thing. Always gotta overline my lips. Unfortunately, Gwen has not released any lip liners yet. I want her to release lip liners in the same formula as the eyeliners because that would be incredible. Like those, like they did not budge at all. I can't go, my lip looks so stupid. They did not budge at all. So again, this is the shade Screen My Phone Calls. It's the Anaheim Shine Satin Lipstick. So creamy. That is so cute. I love the like nude pink. How, I look pretty. Honestly, I look very pretty right now. This is, I already know, going to be the messiest thing in the world. Yeah, okay. Oh my God. Well, they're definitely pigmented. It'll be a long sleeve day. Okay, that actually concludes my video for today. I have nothing else to try out, unfortunately. Honestly, everything I've tried is incredible. The lip products, I can't, I think I'm gonna start experimenting with more color for the summer. You guys already know that. So, so I can't wait to try like some of the reds and that 80s me color is so, so nice. The real winner for me today though, it's got to be the gel liners. Like I'm just so impressed. They did not budge at all. She needs to make these in a line, like a lip liner color. I don't even care if they're eyeliners, just make a lip liner color. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.